Duplex Saxophones is a collection of four detailed and playable solo saxophone instruments. We have a soprano, alto, tenor, and baritone saxophone, each with a full set of articulations. And what makes this collection special is that each instrument is played in two different dynamic ranges, hence the name duplex. Think of these as different styles, moods, or colors. You get a soft, warm, and emotional mood, which we call blue. And you get the same four instruments performing in a more upbeat, expressive style. This is the red mood. The instruments of duplex saxophones are recorded and programmed in a way to get lively and expressive results easily right out of the box. We've opted again for a single dynamic layer that preserves the dynamics and feeling from the original recording. While some instruments benefit from multiple dynamic layers, we found it's often not the case with solo melody instruments. The additional dynamic layers add a lot of complexity, making it actually more difficult to create authentic sounding melody lines. That's why, after years of experimentation, we decided to simplify things and provide a comprehensive set of articulations that have everything you need baked into them. Well, let's take a look at the blue tenor saxophone as an example. We have four different sustained note styles, three of them with variations with and without vibrato. <laughs> These can be played individually or combined with the help of our adaptive legato technology, which handles the note transitions automatically based on the speed of your playing. The mod wheel can be used to further shape the dynamics of your performance, but you already get a convincing sounding phrase by just playing your line and selecting the proper articulations for your intended phrasing. For shorter and faster phrases, like for example short licks or stabs, use the two marcato articulations. Those can also be played with the legato intervals. Just activate them by clicking on the leg button in the instrument options of the sign player. We also recorded a set of short notes for more rhythmic and percussive passages. The instruments of duplex saxophones were recorded in a solo setting. We used the small booth at Teldex Studios, the same room where we recorded the Berlin woodwind soloists and the nocturne solo strings. It provides a very dry and focused sound, but we still have a couple of options with the different microphones. Each saxophone was recorded with two pairs of mics. These aren't stereo pairs, though. One of each pair captures the instrument from the top perspective, where you often get more noises and air and a little less of the instrument's body. The other is a kind of main microphone, which captures the main area of the instrument's sound projection. If you don't want to mess around with that stuff and just get started, you basically only need to use one of the two spot mics. The first one offers a very pristine and high-fidelity balanced sound, while the second spot sounds more full-bodied and low-end heavy. If you need something to cut through a dense mix, we believe the first one might be more appropriate. 
If you, on the other hand, want a more intimate and warmer sound, try the second spot instead. I've turned off my additional reverb for these next couple of examples. Here are the spot mics. The other two mics are for additional presence as an add-on to the main spots. You probably won't want to use these on their own, but they add some really nice color and depth to the sound. As said before, they're not set up as a stereo pair, but if you want your instrument to appear even bigger, and perhaps somehow closer to the listener, try slightly panning the spot and presence mic to opposite sides. The sign player also allows you to route individual mics to different outputs, so you can process them separately if you need to. And if you found your dream mic mix, you can also merge it into a custom mix, which will then be printed to your hard drive for recall. This makes the mix accessible for other projects in the future and also frees up some processing power. Let's move on to the individual instruments. For all of the upcoming demos, I'll turn the external reverb back on. Let's start with the soprano saxophone. The blue version has a very emotional timbre and is especially strong in a lyrical context. Do you hear the red mood at the end there? The exciting timber of the red soprano sax can be used for more dramatic passages in the same lyrical context, but it also stands on its own and can sit on top of your track providing strong melodies and licks.
Let's move on to the alto sax. This one has a beautiful singing tone. For the red versions of each sax, we also have a couple of additional articulations like growls, shakes, and crescendos. Those can be the icing on the cake on the most expressive moments of your performance. The tenor sax has some very similar applications to the alto but it can go even further into the extremes, both in terms of quiet, airy playing and very expressive, loud performances. Finally, we have a baritone sax, with a lot of character. The baritone sax is generally not used much as a solo instrument. It gets used more in bigger ensembles and as the low voice of the saxophone or horn section of a band. But don't let that hold you back. The baritone sax in duplex saxophones can perform beautiful and quirky solo lines, and its more exotic timber will also add something special to a track. <laughs> So that was our walkthrough of duplex saxophones, four solo saxophones, two moods. Whether you're writing a classical theme, a moody period piece, invoking a smoky jazz club, or adding an expressive solo melody to a pop or rock song, we think you'll find what you need in this collection. And yes, they also have you covered for sultry lounge music if that's what you're after. As a parting note, here's an additional idea for you. The instruments are meant to be used as soloists, but the consistent set of articulations also allows ensemble work. Listen to this quartet performance for a little encore. 